Hi! Welcome back to Gaudano Tutorials. In this video, you will learn the different ways to assign assignments through Class Notebook on Microsoft Teams. Very important! If you don't have a Classroom Notebook set up already, please visit my previous tutorial on how to do that. However, if you do have your Class Notebook already set up, then let's jump right into this tutorial. As you can see, I'm already logged in into my Microsoft Teams and I'm on my class notebook. This first page is my welcome page, which I still haven't uploaded any other content. We're going to click the arrow and this is going to open all of our tabs. The first three tabs are the most important ones and all the other tabs are our students. Of course, my students are blurred out due to their privacy. Now, in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to put assignments for our students to do. All of our assignments are going to go under the tab of Content Library. So I'm going to click that. When I click Content Library, it opens up a sub tab. I'm going to click that. And as we see here, the section is empty. So I'm going to left click and I'm going to open a new page. Now remember, whatever you post up here is the title for your page. I'm going to be doing a math lesson, so I'm going to name it math. And I want my students to complete this on this upcoming Monday, so I'm going to put the date. You can put the title pages however you like. This is just the way that I like it because it's more organized for myself and my students. After we've done the title page, we hit enter, and as you see, our line has moved. Now, if I want to work solely on this page, I can just put my mouse over it and double click, and that way it will enlarge. Now, this is just a tip. I always want to start with the directions so my students know what to do. And then after you write directions, I skip a few lines and I put the words work. And later you'll understand why I do this, but again, this is just a tip that I have. So now I'm going to start inputting the content that I want my students to see and do for their assignments. So I'm going to be doing a second grade lesson on shape attributes. The first thing I'm going to do is get a attention grabber for my students. The best way that I have found for my students has been a video from YouTube. So I'm going to go into YouTube on a new page. And I'm just going to type in shape attributes, which I already have on my search bar. When I watch a video, I make sure to check that all the content is correct and that it's age appropriate. I also recommend to watch the whole video to make sure there's nothing inappropriate. After I finish watching the video, and I know that this is the one I'm going to use, I'm going to go up to the link. I'm going to copy it. You can do this by highlighting it with your mouse left clicking and pressing copy or you can also do a keyboard shortcut once you have the link copied you're going to go back to your page of teams right under directions you're going to click and you're going to paste command v as you can see my youtube video is now linked onto my page you have two options you can come down here and you can create your own worksheet or you can look for one online. On Google, I'm going to write shape attributes worksheet. A helpful tip is always putting the grade level you're searching for. In my case, it's second grade. Teachers Pay Teachers is a great one, which is right here. Education.com is a really good one. One of my favorite websites is k5learning.com. Now, when I go to the website, there's different worksheets I can use. Try to look for one that you like. At the moment, since my lesson has edges and vertices, I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to click it with my mouse to make it bigger. This is not a sponsored video, but I just really like K5 Learning. So, we want to get this as a PNG, which means we want to get it as a picture. If you have a Mac, you're going to press Command Shift 4. If you have a Windows, 
all you have to do is press Alt, which is A-L-T, with the button that says Print Screen. It's going to do the same exact thing and save this as an image. Now that we have our images saved, we're going to close these tabs and get back to our classroom notebook. I'm going to scroll down to where I had written the word work. I'm going to hover my mouse on top of it and I'm going to delete it. This will leave my cruiser line starting right below the video, which is where I want the work assignment to be. Now I'm going to go to insert. Here, I'm going to look for picture and I'm going to look for file. This box will appear and you're going to click choose file. I named mine math so it's easy to look for. I'm going to open it. Once I see the title here, it means it's fully loaded and I'm going to insert. It's going to take a few minutes for the image to insert on my class notebook. Now my image is fully loaded onto my class notebook. But as you can see, it's a little small. So we're going to edit it. Click on the picture. And something I like to do is go to picture and crop. The reason I like to crop is for my students not to get mistaken with the directions that I will be writing. So I will crop it to my liking. Of course, you can leave the directions of the page on yours. Now, you're going to click on the picture. These little boxes are going to appear. This is to make the size bigger or smaller. I'm going to hover my mouse on top of a square, hold it down, and use my finger and my hand to scroll. As you can see, the picture is not bigger. You can do this multiple times to get the length that you want. Now that I have the size that I want, I'm going to scroll back up and go to my directions. In my directions, I'm going to specify to my students what I want them to do for this assignment. You can be as specific as you want. After doing this, I like to highlight it and change the font. You can customize it to whatever font you like. I also like to put this larger so my students can see. Another tip I have is highlighting the word directions, putting it in bold, and highlighting it with a color. Now my assignment is complete. When the student opens this on their notebook, they're going to click on the video to watch it. All they have to do is come to the word draw, click pen, and click the color of their choice. Let's say I want green. All they have to do is write the number. So let's say this one's three, they write three. Number of vertices, three. If for some reason they make a mistake, they have an eraser right next to the pencil. Just click over it and it erases. The coolest thing about Class Notebook is that they don't have to press anything to save it. And when they come back to their page, it will automatically be saved for them. Whatever assignment you work on, your students cannot see until you distribute. Since this assignment is ready to go, I'm going to hit the button that says Class Notebook. And to the left, it says Distribute Page. I'm going to assign this to all of my students, so I'm going to click Distribute Page. This is going to open a tab to the right, and it's going to give me my subfolders that every student has. Since this is just a work assignment, I'm going to click over Work Assignment, and then I'm going to click Distribute. As you can see, after a few minutes, it says Done. This means that this assignment was fully distributed to all of my students. I can click X. It's important to know that it will take a few minutes or an hour to distribute everything to your students. This concludes our tutorial for today. Please feel free to like and comment below. Let me know if this was helpful and what you would like to learn next. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share. This is Galdano Tutorials, signing off.